Enter. Oh, welcome back. I suppose you're surprised to get the news that I'm king now. No, I'm fine. I mean, as fine as you can be when you find out your father's been killed and suddenly you have to run a whole kingdom. No, they have not found the perpetrators yet. But honestly, the list of my father's enemies is so long that we may never know. He was a good king, deep down. But he was a cruel man. We all knew that. His temper could be provoked over the littlest of things. And that scar. Forgive me, I know I should speak of it. It's just when I see your arm, I can't help but wish he was alive so I could kill him. Are you serious? Why shouldn't I be upset? He hurt you. You were a child, barely even ten years old, and he roamed your arm through a sword simply because you broke a vase. And it wasn't even you who broke it. It was me. Yet you took the blame. So no, I'm not upset that he's gone. I'm more upset he left the kingdom in such disarray. The old man used our finances for sport and drink. Apologies. It's just, there's a lot going on. What news do you bring of the south? Yes, I'd send reports that they were getting closer to the border. Do you think they pose a threat? Right. I'll send another battalion down there just in case. Hmm? No, I'm fine. Just a headache. The affairs of the state never seem to cease. And the suit's stack of papers is full of marriage proposals from hundreds of families. Everyone from princesses of foreign lands to noble ladies of the court are each jockeying for the crown. What? No, I'm not accepting any of them. You know why. There's one person I want by my side. And that's you. No one would be a better partner for me. Or this kingdom. The nobles? Damn those nobles. The nobles? Damn the nobles. I won't let any of those petty men or women sway me. They paid me no mind before I became king, so I'll ignore them. If they displease me, maybe I'll throw a few of them in the dungeon. <laughs> uh, relax, love. I'm joking. I wouldn't do such a thing. As much as I would want to. Hey, what is it? Is something bothering you? It is? It is. I can tell. We grew up together, Moonbeam. Of course. I haven't forgotten your nickname. What? You think because I came king I forget everything about the people I cared about before? You think I would just forget for all you You think I would just forget all that you've done for me? All you've sacrificed for me? No, Moonbeam. Nothing has changed in the end. I still love you above all others. I always will. So You haven't changed your mind, have you? If your feelings are different Oh, thank the gods. What a relief. I want you to be careful. No, listen, I mean it. Now that I'm king, all the eyes will be on me, and by extension you. When I firmly announce you as my fiancé, people will be upset. I know, I know. I know you can handle yourself, but still, I worry. If word get out that you were hurt or killed because of me, I know, I know. S still, once they, I worry still. I'm not as strong as you. I'm afraid. I can't fight them off with any other honeyed words. Please, Moonbeam, heed my words. Wait, one, two, three, kiss. Can't you stay? Just for a little bit longer? It's not an order, love. But a request. Not from a king, but from a man madly in love with you. Good. Just for a few more minutes, stay in my arms. Gods, I can't wait when we can stop sneaking around. Our love is not something to be ashamed of. And soon, the whole kingdom will know. Wait! Sorry, Boombeam. It seems our time has been cut short. Stay safe, my love.